Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and we're gonna be doing a what's on my iPad. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the support I've gotten over the past videos. So let's start off with the exterior. This is the iPad. It is the Air and it has the M1 chip. I got it last year for my birthday. And this is the Apple Pencil, the second generation. The autofocus is playing with me right now, but yeah, this is the second generation. Let's look at the iPad itself. On the lock screen, I have this Aura from my Pinterest board. On the left, I have my Apple Pencil charging percentage and then on the right, I have the temperature. Over here, on this is like the little side part. My batteries at the top and when I'm connected to my AirPods, they also pop up on there. This little YouTube section right here, you could go to the home shorts and subscriptions. At the bottom, this is like a little Pinterest widget right here and this is basically a widget you can customize i just left it like this and then random stuff that i'm interested in will just pop up at the bottom i have my screen time so let's go on to the first page on the top left i have my first of the day from the bible app that i showed you guys on my phone today it says for i know that my redeemer lives and at the last he will stand upon the earth that's from job 19:25 on the right i have this app called md blank so this one is an app that lets you customize widgets it's really great and this is basically the weather app that's customized it lets you have a lot more options than the weather app and you have to customize the color too so that's why i like it then let's move on to the apps i kept it the same as my phone because that's how i wanted it to look facetime calendar photos camera you guys know what those do now i have reminders clock health app store like i said before I don't really use my iPad. The clock, it literally has no alarms or anything. So let's go into this educational folder right here. Outlook for my school, polls, also for my school. This is basically like everything like school related. Outlook, polls, translate, files. Libby is the app that you get to read books on there. Books and then Zoom. Moving on, I have maps. Again, I don't use my apps on here, but it's just there. Podcasts, I don't really listen to podcasts. Notes, I use notes, of course, you guys already know that. Mail, the reason why the mail is so high right now is because I combined my Gmail and my iCloud. You could go into your settings, add another like Gmail or Yahoo account, whatever email you have, and it's gonna add it on there. Let's take a look at my notes for calculus. That's the class I'm in right now. Here's what my notes typically look like on a good day. I think they're really really nice i've worked hard on improving my notes that's not how i started off but over time i got used to the app and that's what they ended up looking like then i have the holy bible app of course and it's the same verse as i showed you guys before here i have kahoot told you guys they made a fake kahoot in class moving on to the bottom safari chrome apple music messages and settings those are the five that i mostly use on the ipad so that's why they're at the bottom moving on to the second page i really love the second page it's really me there's so much space on the ipad to just customize everything at the top left i have the md blank app it allows me to have like a transparent background but you have to play around with it on the phone if you were to do the transparent background option it's way easier but on the ipad it's way harder so you have to really play around with it to make it look transparent then on the right side of that i have two pinterest board fun fact the one that you guys see right there is from the versace mansion in miami and i actually went pinterest boards do work guys make it happen at the bottom i have like this little calendar the time and then the second bottom left two other pinterest boards so to-do list on the reminders you could customize whatever you want to add in there if it's a to-do list or anything else and on the right i have this little quote be kind be beautiful that is just a little quote to remind me every day so this is my entertainment section hulu peacock apple tv tiktok and netflix recommendations leave it down below silhouette go that's the app that i use for my portrait three i haven't really used it yet so i need to learn how to navigate that freeform freeform is an app that apple came out with but i haven't used it so i don't know what it's like then there's clips photo booth retouch retouch i showed that to you guys on my iphone so you guys know what that does 
and then canva is what i make my thumbnails my intro my outro everything is within canva i really like canva it lets your creativity flow my apps over here virtual families wordscapes word search township all of that these are my games i play let's go to the shopping section we have sephora ulta and amazon those apps are the ones that i shop on then at the bottom i just have the apps that i would use more often pinterest youtube youtube studio and then duolingo duolingo i think i need to work on that i need to work on duolingo a little bit more but let's take a look over here at the app library that's basically it there's nothing much in the app library i think i want to show you guys my let me show you guys my township so you guys can see how good it looks this is what my town looks like i don't play as often as i used to because when i started i was in high school so i had a lot more time than now that's basically what my town looks like now and yeah that's basically my ipad let me know what you guys want to see in the future and I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye!